All right, so I need to put a shower in the second floor. I left this space for the shower. And I went to Revit City and I found uh, a shower that uh, claims to be parametric, which means it's uh, modifiable. And you can see the view of it. It has a shower pan and a drain, a glass door, a control for the water, and then a shower head. And I like that. So it doesn't quite fit what I want to do. So I'll have to modify it a bit. I want the door on the other side. So let's see if I can flip that. Yeah, okay. So now if we take a look at this, the doors on the correct side there, it looks good. And it's the wrong size, but it claims to be parametric. Um, and in fact, there are grips. So it makes me think that perhaps I can modify this and let's see. Now, as I've said before, uh, Rabbit City is people like you and I making uh, families and then uh, because we need them for our project and then loading them up to Revit City for other people to use as well. And this is a good start. So I'm going to move this guy from here to here. All right, so he's obviously not the right size, but I can see that it's parametric. So let's see what happens if I drag this guy over to here. All right, size is right. But for some reason, the shower head didn't go along with uh, this trip. So I'm going to drag this guy out to the face of here. As that's basically my shower is pretty good, except for the shower head. And then I'll take this wall and pull it back to here. And so if we take a look at a photograph of uh, or a picture of this guy, we can see that it kind of looks pretty good. The door swings in the right direction. The uh, drain is good. Um, but the uh, control and the faucet and the handle, I'm sorry, and the shower head are just not where they're supposed to be. So if we take a look at that, we can see that it's not quite right. And so uh, it's going to need a little bit of uh, modification in order to actually work. So I'm not sure if uh, it's modifiable or not, but I will go up uh, and click on this guy and say, edit the family. And now I'm actually working in this project. So if we take a look at, normally the reference level would be the floor plan. And sure enough, it is, okay. But this guy, um, doesn't seem to be correctly connected uh, so that when you move the, the wall of the shower, the, the head moves as well. So what to do? Well, he appears to be locked to the center line of, of the shower, which is okay with me, uh, but I really need to uh, move him in this direction and it won't let me do that. So I'm trying to figure out what can I do? Let's see if we say, um, pick a new plane and let's say that that's the new plane right there. So there's a reference plane and then let's switch the um, uh, orientation of that and I'll load that into the project, overwrite the existing and see what happens. Well, that doesn't look too bad. We'll go back and take a look at that. Uh, is it this guy? Yeah, all right. So look what happened. It brought the, it looks like it brought the um, uh, water control to the right location, but it didn't put the shower head in the right spot. So let's go back to this guy. Um, and I'll take a section through there and I'll flip it and let's take a look at it and see what we have here. So this guy needs to go up. Now, can I drag him up? Oh, that's all right. looks like I can drag him up. Um, there's some constraints there. All right. Um, I removed those constraints, the shower head. Let, oh, look at what happens though. All right, so I'll undo that. It's also uh, taking the control 
up with it as well, uh, which I don't want to happen. So let's move him back down and see if we can rotate this or something. So uh, although the it worked pretty nicely in most instances it's not perfect in terms of uh, let's see if I can rotate that 180 degrees let's see what happens if I do that um, yeah kind of except it looks like the let's look at that in I don't know it's not standard uh, orientation here in terms of All right, so that's not bad. All right, so it looks like it's going to be all right if I try to drag this guy up, what happens? All right, and then I can drag this guy up about to the level of the handle. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, load that into the project, overwrite the existing, and let's just see what happens when we take a look at a picture. We'll take a quick camera shot of this guy, and maybe it's okay. It looks good to me. So, all right, uh, I started out with someone else's family that they made and were nice enough to load up to the to Revit City. It wasn't following the uh, Revit uh, protocol, so to speak, I think would be the proper terminology, but I was able to modify it and that's what I wanted to do. So I got my, I've got my shower in there now. Uh, Really, the door might be better over here and the panel might be better over here, but I'm not going to uh, be that uh, critical of it. It seems to work pretty well. So now I've got my shower uh, and I need to put a tub in here. So, um, well, let's see. Uh, insert, load a family. I'm gonna go over and see if I can find uh, a freestanding tub in my uh, library uh, of things that I've copied from Revit City. Let's see, I think I have a freestanding tub somewhere in here in my uh, downloads over the, over the years. Let's see if I can find one. There we go, right there. Let's see if that'll fit in here. So it's updating it right now and I'll have to go. Sometimes it gets attached right to your cursor. Other times uh, it's just loaded into the project and you have to go to component. And sure enough, it looks like that guy's gonna work. Um, all right, let's take a look at what I just did for my master bathroom from this direction. I've got a a nice tub located in there. And now I can see that I still need to put my cabinets in the uh, master bathroom. I didn't put it uh, in a mirror as well up there, but uh, all in all, this looks pretty good. So back to the second floor, I've, uh, I'm happy now with what I've achieved. And, and again, using the uh, 3D views, uh, it, uh, alerted me that I have yet to put the cabinets in my um, uh, second floor underneath the countertops and I want to put the mirrors in too. So the, we'll do a tutorial on that, but uh, slowly but surely this guy is starting to uh, develop into a pretty nice uh, uh, floor plan uh, and a project and a model. So we have some other things to do. I want to work on this and fix that. That'll be another tutorial. And this is really too narrow. I have to figure out a way to uh, deal with that. I still have some structural issues over here to carry this end of it. This end of the bridge and this end of the bridge can be carried by the wall, but this guy's floating in space. So I wouldn't want to put a column there, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, unless I can put some kind of a, a beam in this wall at the floor level, second floor level, and cantilever it across to pick up the load from this corner of the um, bridge. If that's the case, then I'll move this down farther. Otherwise, um, wherever I move this to, it's going to it's going to need a uh, 
support. So anyway, we're working on the bathroom here and that's what looks good to me. So I'll stop right here.